About four years ago, Marymount California University wanted to demonstrate to its community a community partnership that included offering free classes to local seniors. We approached Peninsula Seniors and asked if they wanted to partner with us, and that's how the program began. Most semesters we offer uh, a choice of almost 40 classes. So that can be art, humanities, science, business, journalism, uh, philosophy, and like you said, foreign languages. Our professors tell me that they really love teaching in a classroom where they're teaching to both millennials and to baby boomers. The conversation and discussion is very interesting when it comes from different perspectives. We have many of our senior adult students who repeat with us. We have some students who have been with us all four years every semester and what they get from that um, is a sense of connectedness to their community as well as they learn something that they've always wanted to know and didn't know anything about. Our senior adult students who audit classes can simply attend class, listen to the lecture and participate do the reading if they want to, but they do not have to take tests or write the papers unless they want to, and many of them do. The students who enrolled in this program don't get a grade. They get credit or no credit, but they also don't pay any tuition for the class, which is exciting. I just saw it online in their newsletter, and so I called and enrolled. I graduated from SC in 1973. So just, just a couple of years then, what was it like the first time that you came back as a student being with other students that were considerably younger? It was really interesting to me. For instance, today the teacher asked, how many of you seen the Thomas Crown Affair, the movie? And of course it was only the teacher and I. No one else knew what it was. So it, it's interesting to see what they know and they don't know. And, some, some of the students have traveled extensively, so they've been to a lot of art museums, so they can add a lot to it. But generally, the seniors know, have had more experience, because they're older. Our professors really enjoy getting to know their, um, their senior adult students. In fact, several of our professors have told me that they've had relationships outside the classroom that have endured even after the class is over. Tell us about your class that you're taking here now. I'm taking a contemporary art class you know in college you know you have all your requirements so I never got a chance to take art history and so now that I'm able to travel since my kids are on their own now and I want it and you when you go through a museum you don't know very much so this has um, helped me prepare for what I plan to do in traveling. Now I notice you're the only senior in this particular class is that right? <laughs> How did you know that? <laughs> One of the classes I did take um, last semester there was five um, seniors in it and that was the only class that there were so many of us in there and um, they really add a lot to the conversation. Our semester started the second week in January. Our fall semester will start in the last two weeks of August. So we do the registration with Peninsula Seniors starting the first week in August for fall and the first week in December for January. So for a, a potential student who'd like to participate, you need to join Peninsula Seniors. They'll let you know when registration begins and you handle that registration through their office. So what kind of advice would you give maybe to other seniors that might want to take a class and they're unsure about it? Take it. It's really an excellent um, opportunity. It's learning something that you didn't have an opportunity to learn before. So if they say that 50 is the new 30, I guess 70 would be the new 20 now, right? <laughs> that sounds right. <laughs>